I am a different person through how my body's changed. It's like a different life now, but it's a good thing, you know, I feel healthy, I feel fit. Please welcome James McKenzie. I feel confident and people seem to appreciate it. He used to be the band Blazing Squad. Great name. Just come off stage at the Miami Pro European Championships at Excel. Been prepping for about eight weeks now, so all the hard work seems to have gone into practice. I think it went really well, but yeah, I'm feeling confident, feeling good. I came in the best I could come in, put all my effort in, so now all I can do is wait. I'm feeling good. I find it hard because obviously I DJ, I've got a, a completely, two completely separate lives. So having to juggle everything around has been a real challenge, but at the same time, it's the discipline I needed to take it to that level. So the preps felt amazing, you know. It feels good to dedicate and put a lot of hard effort and work into something I'm so passionate about. I wanted to set myself a new goal. Yeah, it just felt right. I want to put myself on the map as a fitness model. I, I will explain, I don't usually go around this orange, but it's obviously just for the show. Since Big Brother, I, you know, I, I did a show on Sky One uh, with the circus, trained with him for three months, put on a nice bit of size, realised I just did it during the gym for the confidence boost, just to get in great shape, and as I took it to one level, took it to another, and now I want to take it to the highest level. Anything I do, I want to be the best at. From skinny guy to the boy that just steps on stage, it's probably taken about five years of blood, sweat, tears and dedication, but it's all worth it. Well, the whole thing with the celebrity and the fitness thing, at first, I suppose, it's about developing the credibility to be taken seriously, hence why I'm doing the Miami Pro, hence why I want my WBFF. And just, it's about combining the two together, and as long as I can do that and uh, promote, and it seems to be working. Ladies and gentlemen, please get over for James Kenzie. When I do events like this, I do body power, people want my advice, I get tweets non-stop all day, obviously I'm a qualified personal trainer, I train all the celebs, it's, it's not a coincidence, you know, so obviously I'm just making things happen. A body power, I did a beach body workout, um, just wanted, they wanted me to get on stage, explain what I do. When we were younger, you were all singing a song, you were all singing a song. People are really interested in my transformation. Doing a slight bend of the knee and doing a slow arch in the back. People want to know how I did it, so I just got on stage and showed a few of my little workouts and what I do, and it went down really well. We're going to be fine our East End Fitness. Steady pace cardio in the morning and in the heavy weight section in the evening. I am a different person through, the, through how my body's changed. It's like a different life now, but it's a good thing, you know, I feel healthy, I feel fit, I feel confident um, and people seem to appreciate it. The health and fitness business is probably the most rising in the world and everyone wants a bit of it and I'm happy to help anyone that needs it. You know, you've just got to put the work in and do your research. It's massively about trial and error. No one can just join a gym and get in phenomenal shape in six months. So it's just about learning your body and learning what works for you. I'm one of those people, I want to be the best at what I do. I don't want to just be the, the average guy in the gym. I want to be the one everyone stares at. And not in an arrogant way, in a way that I want to, I want to promote it as well. I want to get people in shape. I want, to, I want to be that guy, you know, that's in great shape and that can offer my advice to anyone that needs it. Massively about passion and dedication. And the main thing is never giving up. When I first walked in the gym at 8 stone, people laughed at me. There weren't anyone laughing on that stage there.